previously on Sunset 10. Um, I was looking for Janelle. I'm Janelle. Janelle, I'm Heidi. You're interested in sales? Probably at least management. That girl's a bitch, in my opinion. Ugly, fugly, Ollie. What did you have to say about Holly? Oh, Ollie's ugly? And look at yourself. This is exactly what I didn't want happening. Did I He wants to avoid the drama. He's done with yeah, the Yeah, well, avoid the drama. Us. Defend my ass. Hi. It's not a lot that you walked away. That's what I saw. Can I get your camera away from you right now? I Can swear to God, God I'm going to smash that. No, you guys just ruined my life. Zeering, right? Yes. Yes. Haven't seen you in a while. I know. Look how white I am. <laughs> My name's Nikki Zeering, and I'm a wannabe actor. <laughs> Have you ever done the airbrush before? No. Is that better than the Mystic? Definitely. We personally contour you. Everybody so does get it. get orange elbows. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kiwi! Hi. Hi. This is Nikki Zeering. Um, she's never done airbrush before. She's doing um, a couple movies coming up soon. Okay, we'll awesome. set up for the movie set. Yeah. darker in the areas so that it does look a little oh, more cut. You just saved me having to do so many crunches. I requested some some shading because I haven't really been hitting the gym too much. This way, you know, I look like I've been... What do you think? Anya, leave a message after the tone. I had a really bad gut feeling going to area that something bad was going to happen. And Anya and Holly and Molly started screaming at each other. And Anya feels that I didn't defend her in the whole situation. So she broke up with me. Hey, you reached Anya. Leave a message after the tone, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. Hey, it's me. I'm just calling to see if you wanted to talk. I um, really wanted to talk to you, and I miss you, and I wish you would give me a call. All right, call me, bye. I'm really distracted right now with work and everything because I've never gone two days without talking to her, so it's really taking a toll on me. I came to Malibu. Uh, my parents have a beach house here, and I've kind of grown up here. I just wanted to like turn my phone off, get away from Sunset Tan, get away from the whole thing with Nick and everything, just to be by myself. Hi, Mom. What do you think I should do? I think take some time for yourself a bit and figure it out. Like, how am I supposed to like continue? It's like, how do you forget something like that? Well, maybe you're not going to forget, but you just have to move on. It's not like he did something that you can explain. Like, it was just... Well, did you talk to him? He has explanation? Yeah, or... he just said that he was mad that I wasn't leaving. And he just, he knows he was a complete wuss and completely, like, you know, abandoned me. And he, he's sorry about it, but, like, sometimes sorry just doesn't cut it, you know? Well, so it's like... He's a great guy. He's been there for you all the time. And So you think I should give him another chance? Figure it out. <laughs> really got along the past few weeks, so I decided to tell her about this idea that I'm so excited about. How's then, today going? I am just, girl, I am so sick and tired of all the fighting that's going on between all the employees, and I think it's just a matter of us all getting together and doing something positive, and so I came with this awesome idea. Okay. I thought about doing a Hot Girls of Sunset Tan calendar. Really? Yes. It would be you. What a good idea. You like that? Oh, that's such a good idea. OK, cool. Everyone's hot. I mean, why not put a calendar? Yeah, we have gorgeous Anya, who just went back blonde. Um, Holly Molly, you're smoking hot. Beautiful. You, smoking hot. Me, Keely. Janelle's calendar idea was OK, but at this point, I'll say anything just to relieve the tension and move on. It'll get us all together. It'll get us all at a photo shoot. We'll just build camaraderie between all of us. Great. What a good idea. <laughs> 
Why are the lights going on, Holly? Yeah, right. We just got home. Lights aren't working. The air conditioning's not working. It's and it's extremely so hot. hot. Yeah, right. Our stove's out, too. Everything. Did you forget to pay the bill? No, did you forget to pay the bill? Um, I don't think it was my turn to pay. It was your turn to pay the bill. <sighs> Sucks. Do we have a flashlight? I don't know. I feel like I have more gray hairs and wrinkles now because she didn't pay the bill. She didn't pay the bill. Whatever. Whatever. This sucks. You know I cannot stay here. It is hot. Well, what should we do? Pack up our stuff and go? Yeah, let's pack. Dude, I absolutely loved, loved Heidi. Yeah. Dude, she, she rocks, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, she's going to be a huge addition to our team. With her coming on board, everybody's going to step up their game, and it's going to help our operation a lot more. I think we bring her as assistant manager underneath Nick. I think that's going to cause a little tension with right. Nick. But bottom line is we need an assistant manager there. We need know? an assistant and manager someone like there. her is going to make Nick step up his game, you know? Oh, yeah, and we need to do that. Because Nick's been a little, he's been in attitude lately. He's been a little pouty and stuff. He needs to step it up. All right, bring it on. Yeah, don't burn that guy. Beautiful. You can cover his mouth and we'll, you know, cover my he'll listen for once. Bringing someone in that's not knowledgeable, yeah. I think, can only help the company. Oh, I mean, yeah. Whether even it's... if it creates some uh, animosity or tension, it's just, imagine you're going to have to step up the game. That's it. Yeah. And um, if she's... Can I see your hands? Do you have... Are they shaking? I just want to make sure they're straight. Okay. The beauty is we got a lot of options with her. And also, we've got her as backup, you know, with Vegas. She said that she was, you know, interested in going to Vegas, perhaps, mm -hmm. in case Janelle drops the ball there. I don't think my face has ever been this white, but I don't think my shave has ever been this good. I haven't spoken to Anya in a few days, but I'm pretty sure she's at her house in Malibu, so I'm just gonna go. I'm really excited to see her, but at the same time, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I don't know, I kind of feel like I'm going into the lion's den right now, blindfolded. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what she's feeling right now. No idea what she's feeling. All I know is I want to be with her, and I don't care about this job or anything else. You know, if I don't have her, I might as well die. That's how I feel. Just hoping that this is going to be a great day, because I can't take too many more bad ones. You going to tag any of these people? Give me a warning, please. Great. Dude, I'm getting so nailed right now. Oh my god, dude, this is so not what I needed today. The Ollie girls are really not important to me. I'm trying to like move past it, and but it keeps replaying in my head, and I feel like what it felt like to be there, just like alone, and wondering like where the hell is Nick? I was really relieved to see Anya sitting there, but I was a little scared, too, because I didn't know how she was going to take to me being there. How did you know I was here? Lucky guess. How are you? Terrible. You think I'm out of line for feeling what I do? No. I just wouldn't expect it to get to this point, you know what I mean? Like, I it, know, but you have to understand, like, it's a big deal to me. Like, I, it just, I just, it's just like, just like felt abandoned. Like it just was like nobody was there, and especially like you. I just feel betrayed by him. So I don't. It's just, I, do I give him another chance? I mean, it's not really something you can really explain. Like, what can you say that's going to make the situation better? There's nothing I can say. I mean, I'm not even trying to justify anything. What else do I got to do? What, what am I doing? I'm sorry. I have. I've said I'm sorry a million times. You, have, you know, I, you know, I'm sorry. I want to but... see that you're sorry. It's not like I don't. It's just like, I don't even care if you're sorry. It just wasn't there for you. It wasn't natural for you to like be there for me. You know what I mean? It wasn't your instinct. You still love me? Coming up. I wouldn't want to be friends with somebody that doesn't have my back and let alone my boyfriend. Yeah, I always have your back. Oh, really? 
We feel that uh, Heidi's gonna be a big plus to the company. We are the managers, and we need to be the ones that decide who comes to Sunset Tan. Well, she's been an owner. You still love me? Don't ask stupid questions. Maybe it's not a stupid question. It's a stupid question. I handled the situation wrong. I did it the wrong way. I admit to that. I'm sorry. It will never happen again. See, this is why. It's like I you can't hit. No, yes, no, because that's not good enough. I just I don't, don't understand how you couldn't just be like, shut the f up. Don't talk to her like that. I tried. Like, I wouldn't want to be friends with someone that doesn't have my back, and let alone my Maybe boyfriend. I always have your back. Oh, really? Janelle had my back more than you did. Janelle. I'm sorry. I kind of steered away from the altercation, and I focused my energy on something else when I should have been there to support her. And it's not gonna happen again. Can I have a hug, please? And a kiss, maybe? Maybe. Maybe, negotiable? I'll, I'll give you okay. a hug. Okay. I think we have something very special, so I don't think I could really end everything that we have because of this. But it's just something I have to like absorb and know that um, if it ever happens again, it would be the breaking point of our relationship. It's not over. It's been the worst two days. Thank you. I love you too. The best part of being back together with Anya is being able to hug her. You know, the feeling is like nothing in this world. Dad, be home. Dad. Charlene, hold on. Hi. Hey, what's up, girls? Yes. How are you? What's going on? Can we come in? Yeah, come on. What's up with the, uh, oh. the luggage? <laughs> it's just so hot. Holly forgot to Molly pay. For, no, Molly forgot Holly didn't pay. pay. Our power this month, so we have no air conditioning, and it's prior to broken, and it's like 105 it outside. So Guys, I can't, hot. I can't have you stay here. Our apartment, our apartment is, is hot, and we're Guys. gonna be frying chicken. Hot. Guys, you know, I love. Two days, okay? Thank you, Jack. All right, guys. I know I'm gonna regret this. Thank let's, you. Uh, let's get you set up. We'll go upstairs. Okay. As long as it's cool, we're straight. Why, 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 why? <sighs> so freaking hungry when I get my bag with this. Can you guys, like, pick your bags up and oh, not drag yeah, them on the wood floors? It's heavy. Well, there's Can you pick yours up, too? Thanks. decided we wanted to hang out outside the salon, so we set up a double date with these two guys that I know. Okay, so Daniel's bringing a friend for you. His name's Jason. Hot. He's hot. Oh, there they are. Hey. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Jason, this is Janelle. How are you doing? Daniel Tan's a sense of tan. Yeah. Are you a nice tan? <laughs> she manages. She's, she's my boss. Oh, really? Hey, Thank you me. did a photo shoot yesterday? No, no, we are going to do one. Because I'm creating sort of a, like a photo shoot calendar thing for Sense of Tan. I thought we'd all just do like this photo shoot um, and make a calendar for Sense of Tan. Because there's these hot three blondes that are all fighting. Who's going to shoot? Why not just get half naked, get in bikinis? She's got this fun day to get that all set up. And if you, get, if you get them all behind one cause, then maybe they'll light yeah, up a exactly. little bit. Uh, so you guys think the calendar is a good idea? I think it's a great idea. Okay. Who's going to be on the front cover? Ooh, that Ooh. I'm gonna be the director. I think we should put all the girls on the front cover. Yeah, like a, a group photo. Because then right they can see everybody when you sell it. Put this guy That's in the front true. cover in a thong. Oh my god. <laughs> So how are we all doing? How the salon's going? Okay. Yeah? Today we thought we were coming in for a normal manager's meeting, but typical Jeff and Devin, they hit us below the belt with another big surprise. We're looking for key people, not only you know to promote within the best we can, but also people on the outside that help us grow. So, uh, what's up, How you doing? Hey, guys. Do you work here? I'm Heidi. Uh, Heidi, um, We're just sitting there in the staff meeting, and then all of a sudden, in walked Heidi, who I kind of recognized. I'd Took me a second. We feel that uh, Heidi's gonna be a big uh, plus to the company, and, and she's gonna be assistant manager in, in Hollywood, working underneath Nick. 
Nick, do you have any questions or concerns? Well, congratulations. Thanks. It's just interesting. We've never, I guess, gone this route. I mean, when someone like Heidi comes into the table with... with we kind of just hired somebody. Well, she's been an owner. She owned her own salon. She opened it up from scratch. She did everything herself. So Deb and I decided to introduce Heidi at the manager's meeting, and as expected, we got some slack, uh, got some attitude for some of the employees. I, I just, I wish I would have had a little bit of, a little bit of notice, you know, like for the communication end of it from all angles. Why don't you just tell us a little bit how you are going to be able to help us? Uh, are you going to work like outside of the salon? I'm no higher than Aaron. I mean, that's just, this is a manager. I don't think there's any reason um, why it should be a conflict with anybody. I mean, I don't know how old you guys are, but to have a salon when I was 23 years old as a sole owner is pretty much amazing. You know, she made her salon profitable in Reno. That's what we're looking for. All right. Surprise, surprise. I mean, I, I think we'll get into some of the nuts and bolts after she leaves. Cool. If I've got controversy with a bunch of other people because of jealousy or someone just being a I'm not going to take it because I don't have to. Well, because Heidi's gone now, whoa. I mean, Devin and Jeff have brought on so many hot chicks in the past that have big and they're good looking and they end up being horrible. We are the managers and we need to be the ones that decide who comes to Sunset Tan because you guys are not in the salons every day. You can't well, I tell. I think anyone that owns and operates and built her own salon is very is overly qualified. She's a little cocky. A little and, that, and that's Maybe great. It's great. It's great to be confident, but the way, no, 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 no. She's very cocky and I think she might want to tone it down just a little bit because if she steps on the wrong toes here, she's going to get smacked for you guys to just go ahead and hire somebody with... She could be an amazing asset to our company. Whether it works out or not, we're gonna give her a shot. The bottom line is this, you know, it's our company. We can do what we want. We can hire whoever we want, you know? We have to deal with it. Coming up. Are you guys a couple? He does this all the girls. I wasn't sure if I was getting filled up next or not. Let's shift a little bit. Heidi, let's get you up here. I, I like the symmetry of where you were, Jeff. I'm just here to work. I'm not here to make friends. Sunset Tan came out to Jeff's house today so we could shoot the hot girls of Sunset Tan calendar. Yeah. Well, since we're staying at Jeff's house, we didn't have to go far for the calendar shoot. And the hair and makeup, it came to us. This is Patrick. Patrick, this is Heidi. She's joining us as well. He's Heidi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why is she here? Heidi, no idea. Like, she just got hired like a day ago and now she's like part of the calendar and everything. I don't care. Usually, there's like a break in process. You don't just like get accepted. Maybe somebody broke her in already. Ooh. <laughs> it's the Sunset Tan calendar for people that work at Sunset Tan. Like, she hasn't worked a day behind the counter. It's like, just because you own your own cabana tan or whatever. Yeah, I know. Don't be worried about it, but just don't be like, Nobody's stepping on me. I think that Nick and Anya maybe just don't want anything to do with me. I don't know if it was intimidation or not, but they seem to be shocked that I just showed up. Are you um, shooting? Did you guys? Yeah, are you like yeah. doing the calendar? Yeah. Oh, nice. Are you guys a couple? I don't think so. I'm just really friendly. <laughs> he does this to all the girls. I wasn't sure if I was getting filled up next or not. Bed. All right, see ya. see ya. Great suits, girls. Cheat towards the camera just like you did before. Beautiful. Gorgeous. There we go, babe. So how do you think it's going to go, transitioning with Nick? I think it'll go fine. I don't expect Nick to be my friend right now, but it's like... I didn't do anything. I think today we brought Heidi in. There was some tension there. And I think it actually helped break her into the uh, Sunset Tan family. It's one thing to be cocky, and it's great you open your own salon and all that, but. I worked my ass off to get work. Exactly. I'm at to get, exactly. to even be a manager. They didn't even want to pay me manager salary. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I think that looks great. And you can see just a little bit of her underwear. Nice choice, Brad. So she should be their assistant, not Nick's assistant. Exactly, make her, make her, make her. Liaison. Here we go. One, two, three. Pull down your fancy stuff. 
gorgeous. Who's shooting next, guys? Let's keep this going. Come on. Come on. A little more. I want to see that view. Yeah. Body. Dang. Arch your butt. Do you like when he's he Dan? He's very sexual. We have fun hopping on you today. Yeah, she's starting to grow on me. I like her. Yeah, I think we had our problems and we're over it now. Yeah. No. I like Ashley's <laughs> The Ollies and I kind of broke each other in, and now we can just get along and laugh together, I guess, at other people. <laughs> mm, Here we go, one, two, three. Amazing. Okay, this isn't a rodeo. Oh, no, over here, Heidi. Perfect. I worked my ass off today. I was pretty much directing every single person, and so, yeah, they placed me in the middle in the end, and I thought I deserved it. Nice. You guys want to, let's shift a little bit. Heidi, let's get you up here. Let's get you up in the middle, maybe. Oh, someone's taking charge. Get her up in the oh, middle. Okay. I like the symmetry of where you were, Jeff. Oh, different looks, flowers. different looks. When Jeff wanted me to be in the center of the photo shoot, that was awesome. I think that it was a little bit of controversy, and I don't care because I'm just here to work. I'm not here to make friends. Great job, huh? Good job. Yeah. Give yourself an applause. You guys rock it today. Yeah. Let's see our calendar rocks. Next on Sunset Tan. Hello. Hi, Polly. You're doing a party? Invite everyone. I'm excited. This is going to be fun. Hi, Hi, Jenna. I'm Keely with Sunset Tan. We're bringing you out of your next seat. Yes, no way. Okay. There's so much writing on this meeting. We want you to make a really good impression. George needs to feel confident. One mystic session is $45. Thir $35, I'm sorry. You say you're overqualified, and you're still messing up on little things. That's why you're not ready. 